Good morning, Gary. We're straight into the, the Saturday, Tuesday routine at the start of the season, I suppose, or will the message this morning be one of the need to back up Saturday's victory and impressive performance here at the Ebb Stadium tomorrow? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, the players gained a, a good result up at Halifax, and now we have to make sure that we do back it up at home against Torquay, which is enough, another uh, tough fixture. And um, we're straight back into the, the league campaign with uh, Saturday, Tuesday. Saturday was an excellent start. Halifax could so easily have been one of those fixtures where the team slipped up. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, uh, we touched on it uh, last week with promotions and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it was a good, uh, good all-round performance. Second half, I thought we, uh, we played very well. So uh, it was nice to leave there with the, the three points. Shamir suggested that, that at half-time you told the team they were maybe being a little bit too nice, that they didn't have enough aggression, maybe not, not enough cutting edge. Is that, is that what you meant? Yeah, yeah if you, you can put it like that, me and James um, just reminded them what we wanted from them and um, the players went out and delivered it. So, uh, look, you have, to be, you have to compete in every single game, you have to you know, be positive in everything you do. Um, and I just felt first half it was... As I said to you on Saturday, a typical first game of the season, getting to know everybody. And uh, but uh, it's not like that. It, 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 the league game starts, and uh, it started when that whistle went. So we uh, we just reminded them at half time. Let's put it like that, and they responded. As you say, you've got to play with with controlled aggression in this yeah. in this game. And whether it's one pass or fifty passes, it's got to have a final product. Hundred percent, you know. And if it's a uh, a pass from back to front quickly, um, and it gets you in great. Or if it's a, you know, a combination of you know passes to get you in great. But uh, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and uh, you know we have to recognise that. You know sometimes it's all right keeping possession, but you've got to keep possession with a purpose. Um, second half we've done that. It was quite a physical game. How has the squad come through it? Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, your normal bumps and bruises, but everybody's well. On to Torquay tomorrow night. Maybe it's, it's sometimes difficult to know what a team's going to offer so early in the season. What do you expect from them? Well, Patrick went down and had a look at them on, on Saturday uh, live. Uh, me and James have looked at um, the video over the weekend. They got a very good uh, result against a, a strong tr uh, Tramia side. Um, you know, they set up at home, um, and as you rightly say, Early on in the season, you're not so sure how they'll set up away from home. But um, after getting a good result, I'd, I'd expect them to probably set up, uh, set up similar. So um, you know, we're, whatever whatever way they come, we're ready for that. That nil nil draw against Tranmere, Tranmere had had a few chances. I think they hit the bar. They then had two players sent off. So it's it's maybe not the the truest reflection of of the match, but that is an impressive result nonetheless. Yeah, but on Sunday morning they woke up and uh, it was nil nil and they picked up a point. So uh, at the end of the day they they'll be delighted with that. So they'll gain some confidence from that. Games against Torquay, as we as we know, are always tough and difficult, and uh, it'll be no different uh, on Tuesday evening. So we look forward to it. Thank you very much, Gary. Thank you.